This drill began with a text message to ICC students, faculty, and staff. We just got an ICC alert. It says, shots fired, Tupelo campus lockdown. Moments later, officers enter the technical education building looking for the intruder who had taken hostages. A man who identified himself as a police officer could be seen running out of the building and crouching near shrubbery. Shortly after that, a Tupelo police officer drove up and told the media it was time to move on to a safer location, all part of an effort to keep everything as realistic as possible. If y'all will follow me back over there and y'all can see the other guys. It can be very realistic. Uh, we have the capabilities to uh, respond to any type situation, whether it be uh, an active shooting or if it be a hostage situation which this scenario dictates both. Emergency vehicles were stationed at key entrances to the campus as part of the lockdown. Work on this drill began months ago, all to test the effectiveness of ICC's emergency operations plan. We have had several meetings. We have, uh, with uh, different entities of law enforcement, we have uh, been in contact with them and planned it as well as possible. And uh, we're gonna see how this thing turns out. After the drill, everyone involved will gather. They'll look at what went right in areas that need to be improved. Administrators and law enforcement say such planning is vital and can act not only as a deterrent, but can also save lives when tragedy strikes. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.